How are you? Good, and you? And do you tell me your name, please? My name is Melissa. And what grade are you in, Melissa? I'm currently in grade 11. And can you tell me a little bit about this fascinating science project? Of course. So my project is entitled Stopping the Pathway, characterizing RASGRAP4 mutations and targeting ERK in RCHOP resistant relapse refractory DLBCL patients. So I'm just going to start by explaining a little bit um, of what my title is about. Okay, that would be good. Okay. <laughs> that would be helpful. Okay, so first of all, the main goal of my project was to help patients who had diffuse large B cell lymphoma. And this is cancer of B cells, and B cells are part of the immune system. So basically, what they found clinically is that by screening the DNA of many patients who had relapsed refractory DLBCL, so that means that their cancer actually came yeah. back after their chemotherapy treatment, there were many reoccurring mutations. And these mutations were found in the RASGRAP4 gene at three specific points, so at the points 280, 304, and 404. So in a nutshell, the main goal of my project was to determine what these mutations, so what the effect these mutations had on the activation of a pathway called the rasmic erk pathway. And the rasmic erk pathway is actually a three proteins that are in a chain reaction, and it's very important in cells because it signals the cells to grow, to survive, so it really tells the cells what to do. What I was able to find was that cells that had mutations, or rather patients who had mutations in the RASGRAF4 gene, actually had an overactivation of this RASMIC ERK pathway. So that was messing things up. Yes, that was. <laughs> so the next step of my project was to see how using MEC and ERK inhibitors, so in inhibitors that would stop part of this pathway, how that would influence the cell growth. And what I was able to see was that mutated cells actually were more um, sensitive to this treatment that I use, and I use PD-98059. Um, so cells that were mutated were more sensitive to the treatment than non-mutated cells. So essentially this could be used in lymphoma patients in the future if I do more research towards this project because this drug actually targets more the mutated cells. So the drug yes. is PD-9005, is that the name of the, is that the, the drug that was being used? Yes, that's the drug that was And is it made by a certain company right now? Yes. Wow, so they must be very delighted with your results. Do they know about your results? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is quite a fascinating project, Melissa. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations you. and good luck to you. Thank you.